funny because I'm actually someone who really tends to look back more than they look forward. Um, which I, I have a very hard time of letting go of things, which I think comes through in these pieces quite a bit and in my writing in general. So even though all of these pieces are set in the future, they tend to be looking back a little bit, either to our current time or the time just ahead of that. And I think the trickiest thing for me was um, making sure that these three different um, stories felt like they existed in three different times. Um, it's very easy, particularly because I was writing such kind of, or I was going for like a kind of familiar kind of relationship focused story for it to just be just feel like I was, it, it wasn't set in the future at all. It was just now with robots kind of thing. Um, so that, that, and particularly with the word, with the, with the size of the piece, you know, there's not a lot of space for world building, obviously. Um, so you've got to make do with the details and the space that you have. It's got to be real tight. So I, str I always struggle with that a little bit, but I think, I think we got there in the end. <laughs> A very small scale personal perspective I think about how I um, am going to look back on this moment or these mo this time in my life that I'm in now um, I think about you know what places and people and objects are going to be important to me and which ones are kind of gonna disappear which I don't I don't know how productive that is, but it's something that uh, tends to occupy my brain quite a bit. On a larger scale too, um, I mean obviously we're living in particularly politically fraught times. Um, and another thing I keep thinking, of, or at least keep needing to remind myself, is um, what am I going to, am I going to look back on this time am I from 10 20 30 years in the future and am I going to feel satisfied with the um, amount of stuff that I did if I did enough to help fix the things that I thought needed to be fixed and I suppose break apart what needed what I thought needed to be broken apart uh, will I be able to look back and be happy or I, I don't think I will ever be able to say definitively I did enough uh, but I did all that I could do to ensure that the future is not the garbage place that it could end up being. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you so much for getting involved with DWF um, and with my stuff. And if you ever want to chat about the future or robot feelings, hit me up. Okay, thanks. Bye.